Well, this is huge. If you're a Lego fan, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're an X-Man fan, this is the video for you. What's going on, everybody? My name is Will Turner, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you so very much for your support here on YouTube. And with that in mind, let's talk about it, shall we? For those that don't know, we now have news about Lego's upcoming Lego Marvel release for holiday of 2024. Yes, I know we're in April, but yes, we're talking about stuff that we'll be releasing in November. So first and foremost, we do have a release date or a release window now wow. of November 2024 and as well as a set number. And that is 76294, the X Mansion. Now, obviously, this is a set that has been rumored for a little while now, but the fact that we're starting to get actual details about it is super duper exciting. So first and foremost, if you don't know, obviously LEGO has continued to release these large sort of buildings from the Marvel Universe for a little while now. We first got wow. the Daily Bugle, which I still think is probably the best set out of the entire bunch that they've done. And hopefully at some point we get something that rivals it. Maybe the X Mansion will be just that. Of course, after that, we got the Sanctum Sanctorum, which I think is not all that beloved and was kind of received with a lukewarm welcome. I'll put it that way. And then, of course, most recently, we got the Avengers Tower, which I think was a huge step in the right direction. I think the build is awesome. It's a lot of fun to put together. It looks magnificent, but the minifigure selection on that set just plain and simple sucks. However, it seems like we might be headed in the right direction with the X Mansion, because not only do we have a set number, not only do we have a release window, as I mentioned before, but we also have some other interesting details, like, for example, the fact that the set will cost $300, which means that it is on the lower end of these giant releases, which I kind of think is the way to go. I think it's smart for LEGO to mix it up, give us a huge building like Avengers Tower, and then the year after that, give us something that's a little bit lower in price point, Obviously, $300 is still a lot of money, but when comparing it to the price points of the Daily Bugle or even more importantly, the Avengers Tower, it definitely looks a lot more affordable. So I think that that's definitely awesome. Now, of course, with the lower price point of $300 comes much less pieces than Avengers Tower, where this set will actually supposedly be only 3,093 pieces. Now, I think that that's perfectly normal and fine for the X Mansion. I think that that should be enough to give us an intricate enough build, but something that is still a little bit lower on the price point side of things. But this next detail is the part that I was personally kind of taken aback by, and I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about it as well, because allegedly this set will only come along with 10 minifigs. Now, of course, since this set is rumored to be based on X-Men 97, I think that the exciting thing is that the minifigs will probably look like they do in the show, which means we're going to get closer to comic book aesthetics than we are to the Fox films or the movie aesthetic. So I think that's obviously exciting as someone who's a big fan of the comics designs over the live action designs. I think that that should be really cool. But the problem here is that am I crazy? But it feels like again, 10 minifigs for a set that comes with 3000 pieces for $300 just seems a little low, especially because when you really start to think about the fact that majority of the minifigs that will be released here are probably characters that we've already seen. I mean, we're obviously going to get a Wolverine. We're obviously going to get a Storm. We're obviously going to get a Magneto, probably a Professor Xavier. But I think a lot of the characters that we've previously gotten will be released here again, which is not all that exciting to look forward to. Now, obviously, they could make it more exciting by actually giving us, let's say, unique costumes that we haven't gotten for those characters i think that would be interesting to see if they go in that direction but i also would have just liked to see more minifigs as a whole so that we could get more characters included here because again when you're talking about 10 minifigs i would guess the majority of them would probably be heroes i mean it probably makes sense that we would get maybe more in gray probably going to get a cyclops and when you start to add up all the names that i just named there there's really not a whole lot more room for any other unique characters. Why not give us some of the villains here? I think that would be really cool to see. Again, maybe I'm in the minority on that one, but let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this set as a whole? Do you think that this is something that you would consider picking up? 
Now you can obviously simply wait for official images of the set itself, as well as the minifigure selection. Let me know down in the comment section below. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And if you've ever wondered what would happen if the Flash's powers hit Gotham City, check out the video you're currently seeing on your screen.